Okay, so here's hoping my socks don't uh, give you extreme trouble um, looking at this video. And I just realized that we want to flip this around because you want her right behind the mirror. Okay, so we have the good foot here, the left. Okay, and for the first um, little while, what you're going to be doing is honestly just kind of looking at the foot, just kind of looking, maybe moving it around just a little bit in the mirror. Okay, so that's step one. Um, step two is going to be to actually do some some acrobatics with the foot. So you're going to turn it over, watch it do that, kind of pull the toes back, watch in the mirror, okay, curl the toes under, okay. So you can you can do um, a little bit more prescribed type exercise with this. You can just do ten of these. Okay, and the other side is not doing anything at all. See, it's just laying there. Okay, but it looks like I got both feet going. Okay, um, and again, you can do curling under. Um, you can get a little bit more advanced and use um, a towel, do towel curls with it. Um, kind of turn to the side. So we're moving both the ankle and the foot, okay? So when you get to the point where this doesn't bother you at all, okay? Um, you're, you're looking at this in the mirror and you're doing all of this stuff and none of it is increasing your pain at all, okay? And you're going to take a couple of, probably a couple of weeks um, to make sure that none of this is increasing pain at all, okay? Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to do same thing, you're going to do um, lifting up the toes and all of your exercises with this good foot okay the thing you're gonna do on the other side is you're gonna do just a little bit see how I'm using this leg this foot quite a bit and this foot I'm just lifting the toes just a smidgen okay but you're gonna watch the mirror Okay, so you're not watching this side. I moved it over just so that you could see that I was moving these toes just a little bit, but you're going to watch the motion in the mirror, and you're feeling just a tiny bit of motion over here. So the feeling is matching what you're seeing, not completely, but with a little bit. Okay, um, same thing with turning off to the side. You're going to turn. You're going to turn the foot just a little bit, okay? Whereas on this side, you're turning a lot. You're watching it in the mirror, so you're feeling a little bit of motion on this side, seeing a whole lot of motion, okay? Same thing with with doing the toe curls or the, the toe curls, okay? So you're going to be doing a lot here and a little bit here. Okay. All right, that's step two. Step three is going to be to do the same thing, only much more motion both sides. So hopefully at this point you're going to start matching the motion on both sides. Oh, hey, look at that. Once you start to get to the point where these don't bother you at all, and you, you know, a lot of the motion doesn't seem to bother you quite so much, we're going to start doing where you're actually putting more weight down through one foot. Okay? So you're going to put weight down through this leg. You're still going to just let this one rest on the floor. Okay? Put more weight down through this one. Almost like you're going to start to stand up. 
Okay, you can, you can put a little bit of weight down through your hand, down through your foot to increase that sensation a little bit. Okay, and then again, step two with this is you're going to start putting just a little bit of pressure down through this foot. And it's hard to watch, it's hard to see this happen, okay? Um, and then again, step three, you're going to be putting all your weight down through both feet as you're looking, okay?